Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Project High Rise. Uh, as you can see here, I have achieved the bronze and the silver medal for this particular scenario. I'm just trying to finish off the gold, uh, the gold medal here. I've already achieved one of the first conditions here. I've got 252 residents living in my building. Uh, so next I need to achieve 30 stars, which I only have 16 because unfortunately in the last video I kept on having a couple of people moving out. So I've got to do a better job of keeping an eye on making sure everybody's happy, satisfied, getting the services they need. Other thing is I need to get some luxury lofts. So without further ado, we're going to continue here. Uh, the biggest thing I need to do is I need to fast forward here. I need buzz. In order to get luxury lofts, I determined this last game, in order to get luxury lofts, I'm going to need some luxury stores. And in order to get luxury stores, I need to have done the foot traffic buzz campaign down here. Right now this is requiring 4,270 buzz points, and I only have 1,900. So my goal is to, is to gain a whole bunch of buzz points here in the next little while. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm going to continue growing my building here. While I'm just waiting for those buzz points to accumulate, I've got a whole bunch of guys here uh, working. Structure workers working for me here. And what floor are they on? I forget what floor they're on. The 45th floor, the 44th floor. So I remember that I wanted to have uh, another training, uh, training center, personal trainer center, or uh, basically a building gym here on the 45th floor. So I got one way down below, but it is apparently overworked. So we're going to build one up here on the 45th floor. Uh, what else are we going to build here? There's a bunch of services now that I feel like we're getting behind on here that people are interested in. Uh, handyman services may be insufficient. Plumber may be insufficient. Home cleaning services may be insufficient. Daycare may be insufficient. Dog sitting. Not present but desired. I never even got around to building a dog sitter. I was going to build a dog sitter down here in the basement and I never got around to it. So uh, the key here to me right now is let's get this place uh, let's keep the people happy is, is the key to me right now. We need to keep our residents happy so that uh, they don't move out and I don't lose the prestige points because this may be the most challenging part of getting to my uh, my uh, gold medal win here. So let's have a look at what other services. Not present, no demand. Not present, no demand. So I want to see what ones are insufficient. Daycare, insufficient. So we're going to definitely put a daycare up here on the 45th floor. We're going to put a number of services here on the 45th floor. No people are going to live on the 45th. It's going to be just full of services. Home cleaning services may be insufficient. So we're going to put those in as well. Lots of people here. Lots of richer people want their houses cleaned for them by somebody else. So we're definitely going to get those in there. Uh, a plumber. Plumber's office. And uh, handyman's office. Now, I can't remember from the daycare before. Did they need a recycling bin? Uh, or just a garbage bin? That floor only ever got a garbage bin on it, and it seemed to be sufficient. So uh, hopefully I can build... What did I just build? I built a plumber here. Handyman service as well. So it's a big, big services floor here. Uh, handyman service. And then if I build that, it looks like most of my building services will be sufficient. Oh, there is enough room to build a recycling bin on this floor as well if I need it. Uh, big thing is, of course, trash bin, though, so we're going to build a trash bin. Uh, trash bin. Perfect. Alright, yes, so we need uh, utilities, of course. We're going to build that right now. Uh, electricity going this way as well. Water for the daycare. Uh, I think the plumbers also like water. Any man that only needs water, just electrical line. Okay, so I think that's enough. Uh, phone lines as well. Yes, some of these places need phone lines. The name of the game is to keep people happy at this point. Cable TV. Uh, not for, uh, yeah, cable TV for the daycare. And a phone line for the daycare as well. Okay, phone line for the daycare as well. Are we all happy? Everybody's happy? Excellent. Alright, in the meantime, we'll just keep on uh, phone line as well for the uh, cleaning services. Alright, that's fine. There you go. All right, now we got lots of services in here. Everybody's happy. We're going to build a few more residential units in here. This is just going to have to be a smaller one. Uh, this will be a large. This will be fancy. And this will just be... Ah, uh, what the heck? It can be a luxury department. I don't mind. We'll, we'll spend the extra money. Get the uh, extra tenants here. Extra happy tenants. Trash bins. Recycling. Recycling bins. I don't want to bring it move that and uh, utilities as well. So we're going to need electricity on both sides. We're going to at least need water. And then I think these guys want gas and cable TV as well. Gas, cable TV. Did I not... Uh, 
finish opening this. I thought I clicked on it. There it is. Alright, and as we keep going up and up in the world here, we've still got only 1900 buzz points. It's 9 in the morning. People should start getting some buzz. Alright, why are you unhappy? Personal training services need, plumbing services need, tailor services need. Did I not? I thought I had a tailor in this building. Plumbing, handyman, home cleaner, dog washer, plumbing, a dry cleaner. Did I never build a tailor? I thought we built a tailor a long time ago, but apparently we did not. Okay. Another service that I don't have room for, but I'm going to have to build for you anyways. Well, maybe we have room for it. We can find some space. How big a space? The tailor probably needs a lot of space, doesn't he? All right, let's do tailor, tailoring services. Oh, he needs a huge space for tailoring services. See, I thought we built a dry cleaner. I think we were going to, and then for some reason we did not. Ah, where can we build a tailor? Where can we build a tailor? Where can we build a tailor? We really don't have a lot of space in this building for anything. I've got so much stuff trying to get in here. Uh, seafood restaurant, French restaurant. I don't want to compete with the buildings, restaurants I've already got in the building. All right, Taylor's going in the sub, 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 sub basement, ten floors below ground level. That's where the Taylor's going. I am now on to my last basement level. I am not allowed to dig down any further. We have hit bedrock, people. Any services that need to be added at this point are going to need to be worked into the rest of the building. Yeah, you're unhappy with your trash room. Well, there's two other trash rooms. I'm filling up pretty quick, but I may need to add another trash room here in the basement as well here soon. All right. Plumbing service is needed. We're getting a little bit more content. All right. Uh, did I not build a gas line here? Gas line, gas line. Apparently I did not. Here we go, gas line, cable TV. There, now you got everything you need. All right. Buzz is slowly going up. In the middle of the day, the buzz rises a lot because we get a lot of people kind of shopping in our building here. Right now it's not going up so fast, so that's okay. We'll just continue expanding upwards, growing our building, and as we grow our building it gains us more uh, more prestige points. I can also cheat later, not really cheat, but I can also use artwork to help bump up my prestige points quickly when the time comes. So uh, we're going to do that when the time comes. Not yet. For now we're just building upwards. Trash, trash. Recycling, recycling and utilities for all. And that's all we need to make people happy. You can enter that apartment. We have lots of people with lots of income. And at some point everyone my construction workers are going to come back down to the basement and finish out putting my 10th floor below ground level. And the thing is, I'd really, uh, I really, I would like to sometimes maybe move some of these people who are on the second floor here, the third floor, uh, up to, uh, do we have a tailor service? We did build a tailor. Aha, we did build a tailor a long time ago. Maybe we don't need to build a tailor, but these people were still unhappy about not having tailoring services. Somewhere here. We did have tailoring services. I don't know what you were really complaining about there. Alright. The city's economy is slowing down. Rents and costs are returning to their normal levels. Okay. Well, that's good. So let's continue building upwards. We are going to reach the 50th floor here shortly. There's floor number 50. Careful constructor. I don't know what these... I don't know what some of these steam achievements mean. One day I'm going to go look them up. Just for the fun of it. Really not too concerned with the steam achievements. What I'm trying to do is finish the scenario. That's my real goal here. Get the scenario done. And it's just about expanding upwards right now. I'm not going to have that much more space to expand upwards. So I may just need to sit on this for a little while. And just build up the buzz for Automatic renovation has been ordered for a number of units. It's fine. My construction workers are coming in here. They're doing their thing. 
make sure we have trash bins. Excellent. Trash bins and recycling bins on every floor because the people in the higher floors get picky. How many how many luxury lofts do I need? I need 10 luxury lofts and uh, I can get two on a floor so I need at least five floors of luxury lofts. So I guess I, I can go up to floor 60 then I will have just enough space to be able to build that many luxury lofts but not too many more than that. 2400 buzz points and I really wish I had noticed that the uh, amount of buzz you spend goes up over time. But I did not. I unfortunately was not paying attention to that. Alright, but we can do some large artworks as well which is going to be nice. Fast track, convert your influence into 10 prestige points. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Well, that'll be useful to get 10 stars all of a sudden. Oh, very interesting. Okay, so that's not going to make that too much of a problem. It's coming down to, I have to build some luxury lofts. That's really what I need here to, to uh, complete the scenario. So very soon, we're going to be getting down to those luxury lofts. Large, large, fancy, fancy, slow time. So I can again build utilities before people run out of, run out of the plane that they don't have the services they want. Water, 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 and gas, gas, gas. The only thing these people don't need is AC, apparently. So this purple line right here apparently is AC that uh, when you play the hotel, the Vegas expansion pack with hotel rooms, running AC lines up and down becomes important. And uh, that makes sense to me. Alright, we got one full recycling room, but we have another one only 19%, so I don't know why you guys are complaining. Oh my gosh, still more plumbing services? You guys are still unhappy. Plumbing services are still overworked. Or maybe it's just the range people have to go. Like, I, I don't know. I'm curious if, if the plumbing services need to sort of be scattered throughout the building to make the, the response times faster. But if anything, that would mean this one plumbing office up here would be overworked because it's closer to more residential units than anything else. So I think it's just a question of, it just takes time for everyone to realize that there's multiple units available in the building. Alright, we're getting lots of buzz now from our retail and our uh, restaurants here. Oh, I like Indian food. Let's build an Indian restaurant there. Alright, one more restaurant. Does not hurt us. Again, we need buzz to get these things. Alright, recycling rooms are both full. Okay. Okay. We have room in the sub 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 basement to build another recycling room. And uh try for I think another trash room would be in order. Wow, you people generate a lot of trash in this building. Don't you ever recycle? Because you have a lot more trash rooms than recycling rooms, people. Of course, I guess on my lower slumlord floors down here, I really didn't have any recycling bins, so I can't complain that people down there aren't recycling. <laughs> Alright, but we've got new rooms here that are open for business. Hopefully that'll keep our building growing here. Alright. A couple more units, and then I'm not going to build any more units because I'm going to want to save the rest of the space for lofts. For my luxury lofts to finish this level. Large, large, fancy, fancy. 2,700 buzz points. I still need about 3,500 more buzz points before I can get what I need to get here. Or I can get my campaign that I need to run in order to finish this scenario successfully. But I can be ready for it anyways. I can certainly be ready for it. There we go. You guys are all connected and happy. Lots of influence points, so that'll be great. I didn't realize I can convince, convert influence points to s prestige stars. That makes sense. You can use your influence to make your building more prestigious. It totally makes sense. Didn't know that. Glad I noticed that. Wow, 17 units have to be renovated today. That's a lot. Alright. Nobody seems to be terribly unhappy residence-wise here. Uh, oh. We need another cable TV connection here. We do not have enough cable TV connections in this building. We have already 150 and we have 155. I think at this point I'm going to downgrade a little bit here. I'm just going to go with the smaller 50 cable connections. Uh, it costs less per month and I don't think we're going to probably use that many more cable connections throughout this building. Just, no, just judging by uh, 
All right, 2,900 buzz points. We're getting there. Just judging by how much larger this building's going to get. It's not going to get that much larger. I think uh, a lot of these building units are going to get large. Oh, no, 59. I don't have enough floors to build enough luxury units. Unless I can make my building taller. I don't think I can make it taller. Yes, okay, we know. Elevator, elevator, elevator. Oh, no, I miscounted. Because it's the European style of counting floors here, where the first floor doesn't count as a floor. Oh, this might, uh... This might cost me. I might have to evict some people. Shoot. Very important to plan ahead in this game, people. <laughs> Very important to plan ahead. Alright, so these floors are being outfitted. I don't think... It looks like there's no roof on here. It doesn't look like this can get any taller. Oh, no. Two, four, six, eight... No, I'm going to have to evict you people. That is not going to go well. Oh, no. Oh, no, indeed. Ah. That is going to hurt a little bit for the stars. At least I only have to evict two people here. Because I need ten luxury lofts, correct? And I can only put two per floor based on the width of the floor. There's it right here. Two, ten luxury lofts. I can only put in there. I don't think I can make this any bigger. Let's check my influence points. Uh, no, I have made this building as tall as it can go. I can convert my influence into buzz, enough buzz to unlock an immediate campaign. Uh, interesting. But I feel like I'm going to save that buzz for prestige, or that influence points for prestige stars, because I'm going to need more of them soon. Uh, and I'm going to let the buzz develop on its own here. Yeah, I feel like that's going to be the better way to tackle this problem. Because I've almost got enough buzz points. Another one or two days here. In fast forward, and they'll be good. So we'll just keep going here. Um, while I'm waiting, outfitting all the floors with utilities. Not even going to bother building it to the top floor because these luxury lofts are two floor units. I'm only going to need to provide power, water, etc. to the lower of those floors. One, two, three. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Don't need any of those connections. Alright. And this is going to have to be the bottom floor. Ah. It's so important to plan ahead in this game, and I did not plan ahead well. That's going to cost me some stars in the long run. 3,100 buzz points and counting. We're getting up there. I'm going to continue to build duplex apartments on this side, and then maybe the top floor will build something fancy. Uh, we don't need phone. We need cable TV for those duplexes as well. Right there. I will need actually a closet on the top floor because on that side I'm going to need a single bedroom. A single floor unit on that side to outfit the rest of this building here. Alright, so I can obliterate, not that it really matters, I can obliterate that cable connection. Automatic renovations ordered, so it's been another day. I've been busy building, so I haven't even noticed as the buzz points are going up. One thing is to make sure I'm not letting my guard down and stuff, bad stuff isn't happening in my building like people are getting unhappy with various things. So uh, as I finish this stuff off here, I'm going to start scrolling down in a second to look and see what's happening in the lower floors of my building. Just want to finish outfitting the utilities for these various floors. And gas, just need a gas line on this top floor here. Alright, let's go to satisfaction, let's make sure everyone's happy. The service floor is unhappy. Eh, I'm not too concerned about you guys. <laughs> oh, I mean, why are you unhappy? We did not turn a profit yesterday. We didn't have enough customers. I don't know what more you want from me. I mean, uh, you got a fair amount of retail. You got a plumber in your way, but you got a fair amount of retail. If you can't attract the customers, I'm sorry. That's your that's your problem. You got to work on your advertising. I've got my own problems up here to deal with. All right, so we're going to do. Uh, we do the two bedroom. Nope. The the duplexes here. Duplexes, duplexes, duplexes. Uh, we can build 
crash rooms. See, now the nice thing is that I've gone far enough ahead and I've pretty much finished all of these floors here, so that when the time comes, uh, I just have to add the units and uh, the last couple moments of this scenario. The last couple of minutes of this scenario should go pretty quickly here. So I have all the utilities already established. Let's build you outfit these units here. Uh, you could be a uh, again a duplex two bedroom. There we go. And then luxury lofts eventually. So these two are going to need to move out. Uh, very disappointed that I made that slight yet major boo boo. And what I might do is I might just build those right next to your neighbor, but I'm going to leave some room for some artwork there. So there's six, I'm going to have seven, eight, and I'm going to have nine, ten down here. I'm not going to move them out anyways, I might as well get some revenue from them while I'm waiting for uh, the scenario to complete here. 3400 buzz points. Just the start of another day, so some people start shopping here shortly. Come on people, it's nine o'clock, what do we start at shopping at ten? Any second now, this metro station should hopefully explode with people coming out to shop in my building. Lots of people coming in the front door. Here come the people. Apparently the first metro train just arrived. Coming to get some food, get some, earn me some buzz points. It might be worthwhile. Ah, uh, enough buzz to unlock any media campaign. Because I've got... 375 and 375, that's 750. I've got 586. I'm not sure which I'm going to meet first, to be honest. <laughs> if I'm going to meet the buzz or double influence I need to get both sets of stars. We do gain the buzz pretty quickly here, once our day takes off. And if we had more retail and more... This is primarily, it's a residential building. If we had more retail, it would be even bigger. Oh no! Tenants are moving out! Who's moving out? The Japanese restaurant moved out. Not enough water meters in the building. We did not turn a profit, but it was not enough water meters that was killing them. See, this is the trouble if you don't scroll around. It's Some of these tycoon games, they, they... You don't scroll around, you don't notice that people are unhappy. We had exactly the right number. Alright, again, I'm going to build a smaller water meter, because we're not going to add that many more units into the building here. Ah... Two more prestige stars gone. I really cannot lose that many stars. It's going to be bad enough here. I can buy ten more, but now I've got to buy at least four more using artwork. Uh, unless... Yeah, I probably will get the 480, so I'll probably get another star back. But really have to be a little bit more mindful of this, I think. That's what I'm going to have to do in the future. I know this for future games now, um, that I'm going to have to be a little bit more mindful. We're going to build... Unless the penthouse apartment, now the penthouse apartment is too large. So we're going to build, oop, we're going to just build a luxury apartment over here. We're going to have to assemble some more artwork to get our prestige up there. We got lots of influence. We got some buzz growing here. One more day, I think, and we'll have enough buzz points. We're getting quite a few here day by day, but we need one more day probably before we get enough buzz points. Everybody's happy, though. People are mostly happy. Nobody's terribly unhappy. We don't get enough people up here. We do not get enough people up here. There's a trouble with having things on a high floor. You don't get a lot of people visiting. You know what I might start to do is I might start to drop the rent for some of these places that are being unsuccessful because frankly, I need them to stick around. I cannot afford to lose so many more points. I need you to be happy with me, even if it means I had to drop your rent just to do it. Not quite enough for you to cover your expenses. 3,900 buzz points. We're getting very close here. Uh, so people that are unhappy, why are you unhappy? Tailoring services needed. So we still need, people still think we need more tailor services. We have tailor services. They're overworked. Okay, I see that now. That's fine. We're running out of space, but we're, the building's not going to get much taller. So tailoring services, it is. Why are we going to not dispose of our trash? Okay, that's fine. Trash, trash, trash. Can't function without trash disposal, that's okay. We give you trash rooms, we give you recycling rooms. I'm not sure if you can get out of the Okay, there you go. That'll make you happy, happier overall. Today, I think, will be the day that we gain enough buzz points to run that media campaign that we need to run. Loft apartments. That's 
That's all I need, really. Needs a greater variety of large restaurants. Need a greater variety of luxury stores. Oh, gosh. Large restaurants, huh? Running out of space to add large restaurants. Space for a large restaurant. I can't even add it down there. Oh, I do not have enough space for another large restaurant. All right. Do I have enough space if I do it up here? Uh -huh. Only if I eliminate some of that artwork. Can I move that artwork? Okay, I can move the artwork. But moving stuff costs me money. Or it costs me. It doesn't cost me money. It costs me those precious points. Is there enough room now to build a large restaurant here? No, still not. Can I move it here in front of the door? I'm going to have to just build a large restaurant up here because I need I don't have enough space to build any other large restaurants. Uh, French, Italian goes with it? Sure, why not? And I can still build more artwork. I'm going to need to build more artwork anyway, so I can build some small artwork there next to the restaurant. Uh, I got lots of money for it. A sculpture in front of the door. And a painting over here. And I should hopefully make them happier. Still having trash disposal and recycling disposal problems here. Phone line. Need the phone line down there. It's one thing I find about a lot of these tycoon games and simulation games is that you spend a lot of time scrolling around the screen looking for problems any utilities down here on this bottom floor, did I? Okay. Electricity and doesn't need water for tailoring services. Good. A lot of the game spent looking for problems. 18 stars again. Alright, trash rooms are getting pretty full here. I'm sort of running a very tenuous game here. I really want to just get these buzz points. <laughs> I don't think this building is very sustainable as it is. Lots of services are kind of overworked. Trash rooms are overflowing, all of them. I have lots of trash rooms and they're all overflowing. I need 4270, right? Foot traffic, 4270. Today we're going to get 4270. It's, it's coming together slowly here, but I feel like a lot of this building is unsustainable here. Too much trash, too much recycling. So a lot of these services are overused. I may have overbuilt my hand here. I'm trying to get this... Uh, now sort of leaping through. Come on, 42... 70. Precisely the number I need for foot traffic. Thank you. Now I can build some, some fancy stores. Hooray! Alright, fancy stores are going up here. We have to build a fine art store. A fine wine store. A fine art store next to the art gallery, funny enough. High level loft, luxury loft needs a greater variety of luxury stores. Well, I'm going to build a couple more luxury stores for you here. Um, a jeweler seems like a good store to have in a building. And uh, one more. Fine wine, rare, an antique book dealer, china shop, cosmetic boutique. I'm going to go with a cosmetic boutique. Do I now have enough to build some luxury? Luxury loft. Luxury loft. And we're going to build some buy level lofts here in the slightly less prestigious zone. Now, unfortunately, we are going to evict you cost me money. It's not the money that's worrying me. It's the prestige stars that worry me. Hmm. I didn't lose too many prestige stars there. Thank goodness. Alright. Going to buy myself some prestige here while I'm at it. 28 stars of prestige now. Now I've almost met the requirements here. Just have to wait for these guys to finish clearing that space out. Construction workers are going to be hard at work now for the next couple minutes. They got a little break there for a day or two. Uh, where else can I build some artwork here? I could put a sculpture in the lobby. Not sure what this is a sculpture of, but it goes there. Put another painting in the lobby, maybe. Wow, the artwork might be a little bit too large. Or a large sculpture. <laughs> Not sure what that is. It's a little bit too big, though, I'm afraid. So I'm going to go with something a little smaller. Uh, this guy. Here you're looking. There's 30 stars of prestige. Okay. We've met two out of the three requirements. Just need some luxury lofts to get completed here, people. 
preferably before anybody else moves out and costs me any more points. Buy level loft. Automatic renovation order for 24 units. Oops, not that one. Luxury loft here. Now I need you guys to start constructing these luxury lofts. Base cash flow is good. $311,000. To think there was a time when I didn't have enough money coming into this building to barely build anything in a turn. At the start of this game, I couldn't even make ends meet. And look at me now. Alright, so there's some stuff there. These guys also need electricity and phone lines because they never got utilities before. Considering moving out. I really don't need you to move out, so I'll tell you what, half price rent. Half price rent, you can't beat that. That area is noisy, too noisy, and smelly, too smelly. Alright. Need nobody to move out between the now and the time these construction workers finish these units here. Are you working on them? Yeah, there they go. They're working on them here. Hopefully people will start moving in. And while we're at it, just for the fun of it, maximize residents. We already got 250 plus residents, so we might as well complete that contract. Any more contracts become available? Nope. That's it. Japanese restaurant was the only thing that I never got a chance to bring back a gourmet Japanese restaurant. Maybe I can do that doesn't matter at this point anyways. Medium rooftop restaurant. That would have been fancy. Something to think about for the future. Probably that would have gone better in the more... Oh, I like these. Lost. They look very nice. Each time they're finished, it doesn't matter if they're occupied, as long as they're finished. Something to think about if I do a taller building, a wider building. I feel like this building, I ran out of space. I didn't think I was going to run out of space. <laughs> that seems something... It's funny, you don't think about running out of space in sort of this modern age of gaming. With the original Sim Tower, where everything was sort of restricted on how much you could build, how many elevators you could build, you had to watch what you were building because you had a limit. But in this day of age of gaming, you don't think of limits so much. You tend not to work within limits uh, because the computers can handle them. But I guess at some point, you've also just got to establish a limit because you could build a building that's crazy tall. All right, Do I, what, what's going on here now? I have 7 out of 10 luxury lofts. Oh! No! Oh no, I built them as buy level lofts and that's not good enough. Oh no! Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> ha! Oh, I thought we were done. Alright. Evicting these people don't cost me stars, so we're gonna just build Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Cost me lots of money and kind of prestige here to boot out a lot of residents here. Oh, I didn't realize they had to be luxury lofts. I didn't read carefully. Oh, read. It's important to read the question before you try and deal, before you try and come up with an answer. Oh, my gosh. Tenants are moving out. All right. Who moved out? It was a, it was a store. Why did they move out? They didn't have enough empty bays. Oh my gosh. Okay, storage. Do I have enough room to build another storeroom here? Uh, storage. Or retail. Not enough space there. Fine, build it there. I don't care. So much of this building became sort of unsustainable here at the end. Very disappointing. Oh. I don't even notice much of a difference between the luxury and the buy level. This is the buy level. This is Luxury. Can you see a difference? I can't even really see a difference. He's got a couple of paintings in the buy level one, whereas he's got more fancy chairs in the luxury one. That seems to be the difference. Huh. Buy level one has an actual kitchen. The luxury one, I guess we just people just get catered. Alright. Uh expansive loft apartment there. No! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! I thought we were done. Now we need more food stores to build the luxury lofts again. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a battle. This is a battle now. Just to get this done. And you guys have got to clean out so much space from all these people I evicted. All those nice people. I'm really sorry I had to evict them because I'm an idiot. And because it would have cost me so many stars and to boot out these people. I couldn't afford that. 
couldn't afford to lose that many stars. I'm still good. I'm still 32 stars. We still have enough stars here to win. I could actually probably buy another 10 stars if I wanted to now with the influence points, but I need food. So we got to replace that food store here. As soon as uh, you guys are done cleaning that out, you're going to come down and clean the other space out. So that seems to be their top priority is to clean out the spaces. All right, so we've got the space allocated for the luxury apartments. We're cleaning it out. Hopefully we can uh, build a large two-floor store here, build another food store here. Please tell me a food fancy grocery store wants to move in. Central Park quality stuff. There we go. All right. Now we can build luxury lofts here again. All right. We have 10 luxury lofts now. Now I just need you guys to come up and build them, please. All right. This will be the end of the game. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I was such a, such a fool there. And it's funny, like, there's just the subtle little differences, like, it's not just a bi-level loft, it has to be a luxury loft you build. Very important to sort of pay attention and have a good strategy in this game, uh, an end game in mind. Because it's very easy to run out, as we saw there when I had to evict a number of people here, because I didn't build the right kind of unit. There we go! Gold! We have one gold! Hooray! Oh my gosh, that took a long time. That took... It didn't take all that long, but it took longer than I anticipated. And uh, still there's problems in this building. The trash is overflowing. This building is not sustainable the way it's built out right now. So I passed the scenario so I can go back and I can change things around and bulldoze things. Again, bulldozing has cost you the prestige. I'm happy to have 32 prestige points. But bulldozing all those units and, and evicting people over time cost me a lot of prestige. It's very disappointing. So, uh, But, I mean, that's lesson learned. But... Uh, this is the first time I've played through right through all three bronze, silver, and gold goals in a scenario, and it's not easy. This was definitely a challenge. I enjoyed it, though. I think it was a great challenge. I enjoyed it. It's a very fun little game. I can't wait to uh, try out some of the DLC next. So I'm going to end the video now. Thank you very much for watching. Again, comments appreciated below. Anything you like, uh, ask me questions or uh, what you like, what you don't like. I will try to respond to all comments. If you like what you see, please like the video and like the channel, subscribe to the channel so that uh, you can see the next videos when they come out. Uh, I'll probably start working on them very soon. I hope everyone uh, has enjoyed this uh, version of Let's Play Project High Rise. I know I've enjoyed playing it. I hope you've enjoyed watching it and we'll see you next time.